homeschooling, the future of education. Have you ever thought about how toxic public and private schools really are? Usually, there are underpaid teachers, sometimes, who do not care about whether or not their students are actually learning, as well as distracted and harmed students from the results of bullying and self-created social constructs such as cliques. However, parents usually do not have a choice in sending their kids to these types of schools because it's the best solution for their family, or because they really don't realize the importance of a good method of education. The bad news is that a lot of education options are more harmful than helpful. But the good news is that the best way to educate your kids is on the rise. It's called homeschooling. No, it's not the one with the nerdy kids, isolated teens, and lazy students. But it is the one that helps kids excel, trains them into discipline, and prepares them for the future. The purpose of this speech is to mine out some of the wonderful benefits of homeschooling and allow them to shine through the negativity around this method of education. Homeschooling is the best option of education. The rise in homeschooling in the last few decades, as well as statistics and personal te student testimonies presented in this speech, are proof. I took the time to gather my own research by interviewing a few homeschooled friends, as well as a homeschooled mom. The results that came back showed that the general pros of homeschooling were more time for family field trips, even to Brazil and China, as well as increased preparedness for higher education in the future, personalized learning that truly teaches, and flexibility, just to name a few. The general con was isolation, which we will discuss in a moment. Homeschooling helps kids excel. Excellence is the driving force behind this method of education. More, more effort is required from parents because now they are the teacher, but it is so worth it. The parents know their kids best, so they become the best teachers. The top universities actually seek out homeschoolers because of the track record for better work ethic, discipline, and intellect. In Israel Wayne's periodical about homeschooling, he states that home-educated students have repeatedly won the National Geographic B, the Scripps National Spelling B, the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, the GSN National Vocabulary Championship, the National Merit Scholarship Awards, and top placement at leading universities. These are some of the countless ways that homeschoolers have shown off their excellence. Personally, I was heavily involved in the script spelling bee and it was very impactful for developing my vocabulary and helping me spell without any difficulty. Yes, I am that person that people come to when they need help spelling. <laughs> Some of our most favorite successful celebrities and brilliant heroes were homeschooled. The list ranges from Tim Tebow, Ryan Gosling, Serena Williams, Justin Bieber, and Taylor Swift to Thomas Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Theodore Roosevelt, and Robert Frost. All of those people have impacted our lives in some way, and it's crazy to think of their homeschooling background that prepared them for success. Homeschooling trains in discipline. The more discipline you have, the more goals you can achieve, and the more success you will gain. Creating a schedule and sticking to it requires discipline. Learning as much as possible and getting high GPAs requires discipline. Weighing spelling bees and national competitions also requires discipline. Anything required Anything related to excellence and success is discipline. Discipline is really focusing on what reaches your goals and what does not, and getting rid of the things that do not help you reach your goals. Most homeschoolers receive academic instruction from their parents who trust them to get the work done at the assigned time. Usually there isn't a lot of pressure on getting their work done. They're left with the responsibility of getting it done on their own or failing. This method teaches time management and how to balance having fun and studying hard. Without discipline, you cannot succeed. Homeschoolers are prepared for the future. They have more time for studying because they spend less time dealing with a tough environment in public and private schools, as well as bad influences, bullies, and unnecessary social drama, such as cliques. Therefore, they have more time for working hands-on in talent areas and they have more flexible schedules for outside experiences that cannot be learned in the classroom. When asked if felt more prepared for higher education or the workforce compared to their non-homeschooled friends, all but one of the students interviewed said they felt more prepared. One particular student shared a specific aspect of more preparedness, time management. Because of her academic activities and assignments, as well as the family field trips that she took, time management had to be learned and customized for her to succeed and this prepared her more than her friends for college. 
Thin Rise testings and top university admissions also show just how prepared homeschoolers are for a bright future. Michael H. Romanowski's book, Revisiting Common Myths About Homeschooling, addresses several common myths about homeschooling. One is, in fact, that homeschoolers are less prepared for higher education. He rebuts this by showing statistics that homeschoolers who take the SAT or ACT score at, at or above the national average on standardized tests. Homeschooled students have more time to devote effort into studying regular subjects as well as taking practice tests and preparing for such major tests. From personal experience, colleges love homeschoolers because of a generally positive view of them academically. Of course, college is not required for a successful future, but it is not a path negatively affected by homeschooling. Unfortunately, there are lots of misconceptions about homeschoolers. They're often viewed as nerdy, isolated, lazy, or not as smart. Interesting how nerdy and not as smart are both stereotypes. None of these negative traits are applicable to the general population of homeschoolers. First of all, homeschoolers are nerds. Nerdy is a very harsh term, and it seems to be avoided because of bullying. However, homeschooling nerds are just kids immersed in a constant learning environment and who grow up to be passionate about expanding their knowledge. They never stop learning, no matter how old they are. Their teachers are their parents, so parenting and teaching intermix in a training that every situation, opportunity, victory, and mistake is a classroom. Passion for growing knowledge and becoming a well-rounded person is the opposite of nerdy. Homeschoolers are not boring, single-minded, or socially lacking. Brilliant minds can be excellent in every other aspect of life, including socially. Other people say that homeschoolers are isolated and socially awkward. Yes, homeschoolers often feel isolated. This was actually the only negative con to homeschooling found in the author-directed interviews. However, this does not need to be the case with just a bit of extra effort. If students have siblings, interaction is learned in that way. Participation in extracurricular activities, which are extremely vital for homeschoolers, allows for socialization with other peers while working together. And of course, co-ops through the School for Homeschoolers. I was homeschooled through the co-op method and it was a great place to practice learning from teachers besides my parents and experience working with classmates since I am an only child. Parent awareness of isolation is also important in order to engage their children with outside activities such as scouting, dance classes, group sports, 4-H, and volunteer work. There are a plethora of activities that can help any child learn to socialize, even ones as accessible as going to church. Homeschoolers are lazy. Lazy is the last word to describe homeschoolers. Learning at your own pace looks different for everyone, but it is still learning and not lazy. Shorter school days equals more productivity and more focus, as well as more real-world learning. Some of the curriculums chosen by co-ops or parents are very high level academically and require a lot more work to excel. The evidence is, of this is the personal testimony from me and my mother, who homeschooled me for 19 years. Through high school especially, homeschooling never allowed for laziness as the co-op setting required at least five advanced classes per semester, plus extracurriculars and music. Between poring over math and science textbooks, reading the great classics, practicing famous music pieces, and listening to lectures, I was constantly studying. I expected nothing less because I was determined to achieve greatness and have high grades. My mother chose me, chose to homeschool me for multiple reasons, but mainly because she could use whatever curriculum we believe is the best fit for her to grow in all areas of her life. Homeschoolers are less educated. Actually, homeschoolers are definitely smarter than a lot of their peers. They don't have to worry about uncaring teachers, dealing with bullies, or getting mixed in with unnecessary social drama and cliques. The focus is on studying under the careful, loving guidance of the best teachers who care for them the most, their parents. A homeschooler's schedule allows for more field trips, family time, and special time to develop their unique skills and talents outside of the normal classroom. And even though SAT and ACT tests are not part of the normal homeschool routine, homeschoolers do not struggle to get into prestigious colleges. Universities desire to recruit homeschoolers because they see how most of them are hard workers who have a true desire to learn. AP, SAT, and ACT scores are, are of course even more impressive, but they're not unreachable for homeschoolers. Most public school districts allow homeschooled students to take part in AP classes and to take the yearly SAT and ACT standardized tests. I personally took the SAT three times until I received a score acceptable to me and the universities on my list. According to Romanowski's data, homeschoolers usually score at or above the national averages on standardized tests. Of course, this should come as no surprise given all the data and facts shown up to this point and further proves how intelligent homeschoolers are. 
There are so many positive results to homeschooling and it is so personalizable that it can be for everyone. The most important tips to remember are to learn how your student learns best, be creative, and intentionally create a positive learning atmosphere. Do not allow fear to hinder you from providing your children with the best method of education and the opportunity to excel, be disciplined, and be prepared for the future. Thank you.